entrepreneur is hard work, but it's worth it when it works. You got your hands full every day like I do. You got kids, you got a, you know, a marriage that you're trying to work, you're tr you a business that you're trying to make work. And finding time for the kids and keeping it spontaneous. Boy, that was good last night. Oh, no. shit. <laughs> Nobody teaches you how to manage a business or manage a relationship or marriage. Everybody's just trying to do the best that they can. The purpose of the show is to give you some tools on how to make the marriage and the business work. We don't do it perfect, but we're figuring it out. Hey, welcome to the g &E Show. Grant Cardone here, Miss Elena Cardone. We're waiting on the beautiful Miss Elena uh, Cardone to come in. I'll tell you more about that in a second. Every Wednesday, 12 p.m. Eastern Standard Time, I've come to, uh, come to you to talk about your relationships and your business. Me and, me and E normally are here. We're talking about, hey, how, what happens when, uh, uh, you know, the... A guy's working or a gal's working. She's doing all the work. I had Kendrick's show up here this morning. She's out working and busting and they got a kid and they got a marriage. The two of them are out working, two people working, and they're trying to hustle and make their, their life and their business work. And they come home at 6 o'clock in the afternoon or 7 o'clock or 8 o'clock or whatever. People are exhausted, got the kid to feed, put them to bed. How do you, how do you, how do you make all that work? Okay, it's very, very difficult. Like, no, no, no question, it's not a challenge. Uh, Elena right now, just to, to give you the inside scoopy scoop, is in New Orleans right now. She had a trip planned. So I'm home as a single father right now, and no skills, by the way. I've never said I was a good father. A mother, good mother. And, and, and I'm having to act like a mother right now. So Scarlett gets sick the first night, two nights ago. She gets sick. One o'clock, I'm up. Two o'clock, I'm up. Three o'clock, I'm up. Four o'clock, I'm up. I'm like, man, I got to go to work. Now, I, got a, I got a monster, monster appreciation for all parents, number one, and number two, for single parents. I have, like, huge, huge. Um, admiration and respect for single parents, okay? Now, today, what I want to talk about today, though, is a little different. That won't work is how to make your relationship great again. You know what I'm saying? Last night, I stayed up to 3.30 in the morning watching the Trumpster do the trumpet. Mm -hmm. Look, he did a throwdown. You gotta give it to him. You didn't like the guy, you hated the guys. I know there's a lot of people, probably 35% of my audience out there hates him, like, like despises him. And probably another 35% of you like the dude, and another 35 like don't even care. I'm gonna tell you something, okay? I did learn something from this whole thing. I learned that my theme, and I came in and told my staff this this morning, my theme about, hey man, be great, show up, pay the price, work hard, do not overspend. You do not need to spend money, energy, bring energy and enthusiasm and show up. You know, I told Sherry in my office this morning, I'm like, Big events. We need to be doing big events. Are you paying attention? This guy won an election by showing up and doing events. He took his plane, flew to a place, burned his fuel, his money, showed up, gathered people and more people and more people, dude, told people what they needed to hear, wanted to hear. Maybe he can do it. Maybe he can't. I don't know. I just know this. You guys need to pay attention to what it takes to make things great. His message was make America great again. My message to you today because I never worry about the White House. I just worry about my damn house. You guys got your own house crumbling. I was on the elevator leaving my place today, and, and um, they're talking about it. I'm like, I'm thinking to myself, this guy's marriage is falling apart, and he's worried about what's happening in D.C., okay? He, he's got a dog pooping, pooping on, on the sidewalk and doesn't pick it up. I'm like, bro, you, your life is falling apart, and you're worried about the White House? Get your own house in order. And then maybe you worry about your neighbor. You know what I'm saying? Most people are a long way away from worrying about what happens in the White House. Now, I happen to like the results because it's given me permission to be obsessed. Talk about being obsessed. This dude was obsessed, okay? No breaks. 70 years old doing six meetings in six cities in one day. Who does that remind you guys of? The freaking maniac. You're working too hard, Grant. You're burning the candle at both ends. The man was up at 3.30 last night doing his pitch, man. Okay? Thank you. Okay, we're going to do this. We're going to pull it off. 
3.30 in the morning, he's doing his pitch. His kid, his 13-year-old Baron, was like yeah, uh, all over the place. <laughs> like You can tell, man, he, he's not, he, right, he, he doesn't know how to control the energy unit yet. So look, I want to talk to you about being great today, not about politics, about being great in your relationship. What does it take? Because it really reminded me, dude, am I being great in my relationship with Elena? Am I being great in my marriage? You know, am I being great as a boss? Am I being great to myself, my body? Am I being great as a father? How much do I not know? You know, am I reading? Am I learning? Am I studying, man? Am I being great to my customers? We, we had a boba book going out today, Be Obsessed or Be Average, Dave Robards. Somebody bought six books, had me sign them. I'm sitting there signing them all. And one of them was torn right here. And I said, Dave, man, look, it's torn right here. You know? He's like, it'll be all right. I said, no, nah, it's not all right with me, man. Let's be great. You know? Let's be great. How can I be great with my girlfriend, my boyfriend, my dog? Whatever it is you're having a relationship with. Look, the first thing you'd have to do is you'd have to, um, you'd have to look at what, what is greatness. What does it mean to be great? You know the word actually comes from the word Gross. Not gross like ugly, gross like lots. You'd have to have quantities for something to be great. So all of you out there like, I'm spending quality time. It can't be quantity, it has to be quality. That's not what great means. Great means in quantities. It means in a, a, enormous amounts. So for your business to be great, you'd need what? Lots of sales. For your marriage to be great, again, you'd have to number one, make a commitment. I'd have to commit to greatness, right? You'd have to commit not to running the government the way it is. If you really wanted to make America great again, dude, you'd have to be like, hey, let's fix this, the, the, let's fix, I don't care what the people want, dude. Let's fix the roads, the bridges, the hospitals. Let's fix the schools. Let's do something great. Let's be like America would be the beacon for every other country. That's what I want to do with my marriage, okay? It starts at home. I got to do that at home with my wife. Do I treat my wife like a princess? Am I great? Have I made that commitment? Have I defined great? Have I defined relationship when I come back? That's what I'm going to do with you because you know that's what I do. I'll see you just in a couple seconds. Too many people are being kept from their dreams by circumstances they couldn't control and mistakes from a long time ago. All they needed was a second chance or a fresh start. That's why Cash Now was created. Since 1997, Ray Abood, owner of Cash Now, has been the premier expert in home renovation and resale in the York Tri-State area. Dedicated to premier customer service, getting the best deals at the lowest price, this is the only expert company you should deal with when it comes to buying and selling a home. Offering a five-step home buying process, Ray and his team will ensure your needs are covered and get you closer to your dreams of buying a home in any city across the United States. To find out more on how you can get started on owning or selling a home, visit CashNowPA.com. That's CashNowPA.com to get started. System is hiring. We are seeking motivated sales reps in the United States and Canada to work in the growing, lucrative market of drug-free solutions for effective pain relief and muscle performance training. Do it while having fun and most importantly, improving the quality of life for your customers. TrueStim offers aggressive pay plans, company incentive trips, and a fast opportunity for growth and advancement within the company. TrueStim trains its people on the number one sales training platform in the world, Cardone University. The best knowledge for sales combined together with the best marketing systems, culture, and support in the industry. Visit TrueStim.com forward slash careers. That's TrueStim.com forward slash careers and get started right now. There is only one thing that ensures the future of your business, communication. Information, business deals, new prospects, client management only functions with a strong communication platform. And that's our goal at Mango Voice to deliver quality customer interaction with the best business phone system on the planet. Connect your office with Mango Voice and enjoy mobility of taking calls from your cell phone, multiple office setup, no maintenance fees, secure cloud-based service. Mango Voice ensures your business future with perfect communication. Sign up right now for a free consultation at mangovoice.com forward slash sign up. That's mangovoice.com forward slash sign up. Hey, if you like the show today, make sure you subscribe, hit like, and post your comments. Really appreciate you watching. Thanks a lot. Hey, welcome back to the G&E Show, where every Wednesday me and the beautiful Elena, you notice, by the way, when Elena's not here, what does G do? What does G do when Elena's not here? He does the show. He does the damn show anyway. <laughs> I don't need a reason not to do the show, dude. 
Look, if I keep taking reasons not to be great, I'll be average, okay? Great. The word great. Define the word great in the diction error, and it means, mm -hmm. it means, let me bring it to you. You ready for this? Share this information with your friends and your family. You want to be great in your relationships, folks? Check it out, okay? Great. The word means of an extent, amount, or intensity considerably above the normal or average. A lot of definitions there. A lot of definitions. Very large and imposing. How can I be large if I'm small? You know what I'm saying? How can I be great if I'm not large? I'm asking you this. How can you be great in your relationships or at work or as a parent if you're not great in all of them? That's what the whole book Boba is about. Be obsessed or be average. It's about being obsessed with all the dynamic parts of your life, not one part. Okay? Being obsessed with one part of your life, just your work or just your kids or just your whatever means you're consumed by that one part and cannot deliver anything to the other parts. You will be consumed, okay? What I want to do is give to all the parts of my life, okay, so that they can give back to me and keep renewing my energy. I mean, the one thing I'm talking about Trump today because he won the deal last night is the energy the dude has is unbelievable, you know? I'm like, I called Elena up at 3 o'clock in the morning. Baby, when I'm 70, I'm going to have that much energy. You understand that? That gives me hope, right? Here's a guy that ran for office. He has never run for anything before, okay, except for a TV show. Our ratings are the greatest. Even when they weren't, he was saying, hey, they're the greatest. Okay, Ali, I am the greatest. So what does it mean to have a great relationship again? Make your relationship great again. Hey, our number here is 305-865-8668, 305-865-8668. Used to reinforce another adjective of size or extent. Great. The ability, quality, or eminence considerably above the normal or average. What's the, what's the con, the opposite? Is it synonym, anonym? Antonym. Antonym. What's, what's the anonym here of great? Average. Okay. By definition, out of a book, dude. Go back seven, eight hundred, nine hundred years, ladies. The word great means gross. Are you being great to your husband? Are you serving great meals? Are you guys going to great restaurants? Are you taking great vacations? Holiday in? Uh -uh. <laughs> Ain't great. Nice face. Okay. The deal might be good. We're not talking about a good deal here. We're talking about great. See, see, my wife, I got to give it to my wife. Elena is great, dude. The chick is great, man. I mean, 95% of the time she is great. I, I could focus on the 4 or 5%, but if I did, I'd be focusing on what? Not being great. You know what I'm saying? Make your relationship great again. How do you do that? Oh, by the way, what is a relationship? I mean, have you even looked up the word? If you're not learning, how can you be great? It's impossible. Would you guys agree with that? If, I, if I'm not even studying, okay? You want to be great at sales, but you don't learn anything. I've been doing sales for 30 years. I can't tell you how many people have told me that. I've been doing, I've been doing sales for 50 years. Dude, that don't make you great. Yeah. It don't say anywhere in here by definition, great is time. Just because you've been doing something for 30 or 40 years, look, we are in massive change right now. This election showed us last night, you are in a moment, okay? Never before have I seen this in my lifetime where the public said, we want authenticity. We want raw, dude, okay? We want real. I mean, I woke up this morning so freaking energized. I, I get to be me, dude. I, I was given permission to be Grant Cardone finally. Raw, real, unedited, tell you the truth, okay? Don't, don't need to apologize for every mistake I make, okay? The, the, the public place is not a confessional. You don't need to run around telling everybody how many times, please, please forgive me, you know? So, so what, is, what is the word relationship? But man, this is a marketplace where you got to study. You know, if this, guy, if this guy lost this thing last night, everybody would have said he lost it because he did not. No. He didn't know. He didn't know how to when to change the game up a little bit, how to use finesse. So, what you did do? He did last he, night, last he, night. he used, used a little bit last night. So, so, so whether he can do that, this isn't, again, this isn't really about him. It's never about politics for me. It's about my house, man, okay? It's about my marriage. It's about my kids. How can I tell people to be a good parent if I'm not a good parent? I went home last night and I'm riding bikes with the kids yesterday. How do I find the time and you don't? Okay, I'm just challenging you right now. 
right? So I have to be willing to do the things I don't want to do to be great in order to ever get in the neighborhood of great. And that means sometimes I got to read, which I don't like to do. Every day. Okay. So well, like we know a lot of people like to read. Check this out. I put this together last night. Anybody that gets card on you, a lifetime membership, I'm giving them, this is not available anywhere, exclusive content right here in hardback form. I'm shipping this to you. Is that right? We're shipping this. This is hard, hard copies, right? Mm -hmm. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven programs. I'm giving to you. Why do I want to do that, man? Because I want to exceed, by definition, your uh, expectations. Relationship, the way in which two or more objects or people connected are the state of being connected and staying connected, right? So if somebody buys something from me and I can't deliver it great, how can I possibly go home knowing I delivered it average with my, with my employees, average with my customers? How can I go at home and all of a sudden, oh, uh, I'm, I'm Superman now? You can't be a mice and then show up as Tarzan. You know what I'm saying? You can't, you can't, you can't be average, you can't be a punk at work on your projects on your deadlines, on your delivery, on the details. You can't be a punk most of the time and then show up and be a pro at home. It's impossible. Can't do it. Great. Above normal. Ability, quality, or eminence. Okay, now, how do you do that? First, you'd have to define what a great relationship is for you. If you've never defined it, you don't have one. Okay, that's what I'm doing today, defining my relationship. Elena's in New Orleans right now. She went on a fishing trip. She's like, I'm going to go on a fishing trip with my friends. That's a great idea, baby. She flies over there and goes on a fishing trip. She gets rained out. I wrote her a text. I said, baby, fishermen know how to check the weather before they go fishing. <laughs> okay? So first thing you got to do is define, man. What is, so what I'm working on right now is what is a great relationship? Define it. What does it mean to me? Then i got to ask her, what does it mean to you to have a great relationship? Number two, I need to make a commitment. What is a commitment? Time and resources. You want to be a great salesperson? I'm going to commit to being a great salesperson. Dude, you need to back it with time and money. You do not have a commitment if there is no time and money. Commitments require a follow-up of time and money. Number three, find out what is needed from yourself and from your spouse and from your kids. What is needed? Okay. What do they need? What do they want? I got Luke on the phone, James, Bobby. We're going to be taking their calls. And the fourth thing you're going to do is you got to deliver the goodies. That's what Trump will have to do now. He'll have to bring the goods, dog. Look, don't leave. We're going to take your calls. We're talking about being great in your relationship. Leave a mark in your neighborhood with a lasting impression. A professional landscape can deliver that and more. And the man to bring it to you is Steve Griggs. Awarded the National Best of Hows in Client Satisfaction in 2016 with clients such as Dr. Oz and the Palisade Center Mall in West Nyack. Steve Griggs is New York's best landscape designer. This isn't landscape design, this is lifestyle design. For more information, visit stevegriggsdesign.com. That's stevegriggsdesign.com. Gaining financial independence is what every person seeks in today's world. With so many options when it comes to investing, it can be confusing to know what to do. Specialized IRA services helps you know the right direction to go. Whether you are looking for a self-directed IRA, a retirement account, or need the know-how, on funding a new business. Specialized IRA services help you gain control of your assets, your money, and your investments while being educated on the entire process. In removing Wall Street out of your investment, you can be sure to spend less on investment fees, taxes, and make more on your returns. Let the expert team at Specialized IRA services help you transform your family legacy and secure your financial independence. Visit SpecializedIRAservices.com, that's SpecializedIRAservices.com, to register for more info and receive a free ebook on your guide to financial freedom. That's SpecializedIRAservices.com. In life, anything can happen. Disasters, losses, unexpected things that are not part of your business plan. And when it does, the next step is to figure out how to get back to business as fast as possible. That's where Pride Public Adjuster steps in to properly manage your insurance claim, create a strategic recovery plan, and get you everything you are entitled to from your insurance company. Our experts ensure that your insurance company will restore you to pre-loss condition or better. Since Pride works strictly on contingency, there is no risk and we don't get paid until you get paid. We are the only public adjusting firm licensed in every state in the United States utilizing our own in-house team of insurance professionals. We work exclusively for you, the policyholder, not the insurance company. Contact us today to receive a free claim review at prideadjusters.com. That's prideadjusters.com. Settle for everything with pride. That's prideadjusters.com. 
Just remind yourself, hey, welcome back. Somebody said, why are you wearing 10X cufflinks? Because that's what I do. I remind myself to 10X my life so that I don't rest on the laurels of yesterday, last month, last year, last decade, so I don't get stuck in the past. And I start showing up as great. And I keep showing up as great. Because look, let's face it, you guys should have learned something last night if you stayed up and watched that election. America, we had the biggest single electoral upset in the history of the United States of America, okay? Traditional politicians, those country club grabbing, grinning grab, do-gooders, talk out of both sides of their mouth, had a stake driven through their heart. They woke up this morning like, WTF, dude, what just happened? Okay, you know why? Because they quit being great, folks. You will get decimated. Taxi cabs are getting decimated because they're not great. The world is getting consumed because it's average and it will literally pss, disappear. One man has literally destroyed, okay, traditional politics. He didn't do it the way they've, they've always done it. He, did, he was outspent by $800 million. You know what greatness costs? Nothing. It costs nothing to be great. It costs a little energy. It costs a commitment. It costs reading. He was outspent by $800 million. $800 million, almost $1 billion by being creative, by showing up, by doing any interview, any interview, okay? But by, by being in front of a camera all the time. I talk about it all the time. I teach you this material right here. Get attention, okay? If you're married in a relationship and you're married to a husband or a wife that's not getting attention for your brand, your name, and your company, you guys are dead, man. You're dead. Great means to exceed average. You guys need to get on the same page and decide what is going to make your relationship great again. By the way, can you have a great relationship if you guys aren't making any money? If you're worried about money all the freaking time, it, you're fine right now. You're fine. Trust me. You're fine right now. And then all of a sudden you find out somebody's got cancer. All of a sudden you're like, oh, shit. I ain't fine now. Oh, but Obamacare or Affordable Care or my health care or whatever is going to cover it. Oh, except for the 15 grand. Oh, 15. We only got 17 in a bank account. Now you're down to two and you got two kids. See, now you're not just worried about your health. You're worried about your money. How can you be great if you're not getting your freaking act in order? So when Elena gets back, I'm going to sit down with her and this is what I'm going to do. Baby, I want a great relationship. I don't want yesterday's relationship. I don't want last month's relationship. I don't want the relationship we had when we got married. I want a freaking great relationship. And you know what that means? That means I need to put attention and energy and resources into that. First, define what that is. What is it for me? What is it for her? Number two, commit. I need to throw down some dough, okay? You want to eat dinner? You got to pay for it. Nowhere on this planet do you get to do something and not pay first. It ain't free, baby. If it's free, I guarantee it's going to cost you something. All these webinars y'all go to, it's free. It's free. The webinar that you sat in that was freaking crummy that you didn't even go to, that ain't free, dude. That costs you money. Time is money. So when you commit, back it with some real time and real money. I don't want people giving me anything for free. I just bought a car. A guy showed up, showed me the car. I flew to, uh, I flew to Cleveland to do a gig. He, sh he shows up, he, he leaves a car there for me to, yeah, yeah. to drive from the airport. I'm like, oh my God, I love the car, right? Okay, so I, I, I put the car up, I'm on the plane, he brings me a second car to look at. Oh, dude, that's sexy, that's hot. See, see, he stayed in the game, right? He's exceeding my expectations by definition of the word great. I buy this car, man, I wasn't even in the market for a car. Okay, he gave me one price and I bought the car. I didn't ask him for a better deal, I didn't grind him, I didn't pound him. You know why? I don't mind paying. I used to be that punk. Give me a better deal, man. I used to be the punk. Everything I did, I was a punk. And then one day I was like, dude, you can't be great being a punk. Mm. Let's talk to James. From, is James a girl? James is a guy. I want to talk to the women. I want to talk to Lisa from Connecticut. Let's talk to Lisa from Connecticut. Lisa, what's up? Lisa, I'm sorry you were on hold so long, buddy. No, not a problem. How's it going, Superman? Come on, baby doll. How you doing? <laughs> Good, good. Listen, I, I, your, my free, my uh, phone froze right at you smiling. A really nice picture. So I don't know where you guys left off at. Yeah, no, no, don't, don't worry about it. Just hey, let me ask you something. What do you think about? What is the difference for you? Are you, are you married or, or single? 
No, I'm single. Okay, I'm good. Half, I'm happily divorced. Yeah, okay. So, mm-hmm. so, so what do you think about, I mean, what would it take if you went back and looked at that relationship to, 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 to go from it being what it was to, to great? What would it have taken for you guys to make, have made that great, if, if that was possible at all? Yeah, communication. Uh-huh. About the, what? Communication is key about everything. Yeah, but I mean, like, because I mean, I know some word, people communicate too much, you know? Like, yeah, no, he, he, he believed um, no communication was the best communication. Oh, he, he didn't mm-hmm. communicate at all. Mm-hmm. No, not at all. Dude, no, get, so that was, yeah, do you agree that no, you cannot be great if you don't communicate? Uh, yeah. I it's impossible. Guys. Okay. Look, the guy that's impossible. It, it's impossible. We, we got a new president, a guy that's never run for any office. You know why? He was willing to communicate with everybody, anytime, any station, anywhere, about anything. That's exactly right. And, and, I, and my number one thing was to say to you that you were so right uh, when you said that we personally, each person themselves, are responsible for their own making of uh, America great. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It doesn't yeah. matter who the president is. Yeah, yeah, make your house great. Don't worry about the White House, right? You got it. Lisa, that's awesome, Lisa. I really appreciate you calling in. I'm sorry you were on hold so long. Anything else you want to say? No, no worries. If uh, anybody uh, wants to see a laugh, uh, I have a book page, Humor Heal, so laugh often. Okay. And uh, my brand is uh, my face. What's, so what, I guess what, I, and what's, what's the website? It's actually a Facebook page. It's uh, Humor Feels So Laughed Often. Oh, okay. Humor, humor Feels what? Humor Feels Laughed Often, right? Humor so Laughed often. often, yeah. Laughed often. Okay, all right. Beautiful, Lisa. Thank you for calling in. Folks, I'm talking about relationships. Make your relationship great again. Man, I'd love for us to have new bridges and new roads and new schools and a different tax basis and people happy. And I'd love to see the median income in America go from 54 grand to like, 90,000, 100, taxes drop to like 15 or 20%, man. You make 100 grand, you only pay like $15,000 in taxes. It'd be freaking awesome. You walk away with $85,000, you got $7,000 left over. You know how good that would be, man? New roads, new schools, new hospitals. Like, like people from all over the world be like, America, man, is having this resurgence again, this renaissance of greatness. But that ain't going to happen, folks, if it don't start at home. Okay, you know, if you're sleeping with the same person, man, y'all don't even communicate. But you just hit on it every one, every ten days, you know. Late at night, you're like, oh, let me just you grunt a couple times. <laughs> that ain't great, man. That ain't great. Great, great, great means to be great. Okay, massive. Okay, big, imminence. Okay, it means look up the word. Look up the word, and then define relationship. What is a relationship? What's going on in that relationship? Does that relationship change? Let's talk to Carrie Ann from Boston. Carrie Ann, how you doing? I'm doing great, Grant. How are you doing? Good. Hey, thank you for being on hold so long. I know I, I, I over-talked my situation here a little bit. That's all right. So what would, wait. Carrie, what would you add to this conversation about being great, make your relationship great again? Uh, you know, it always starts with you. You've got to just um, share your passion, love, excitement, and make someone else stay better. Share the smile. Share the love. Yeah. So What's what? Do, else up? Yeah. What are you doing? Like, do you, are you doing something in your own life, or do you know someone that's doing something that that's like that's a good example? Um, so I was actually asked to call in today. I'm part of Eddie Martin's group that he started, mm. the sales group on Facebook for networking. Yeah, 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 yeah. And um, I'm actually with a a company, Lavelle.com, and the following experience. So I have the blessing of helping other people feel and they're very best in their health, wellness, and happiness. So I feel very blessed every day to reach out to others to make an impact. Yeah, that's awesome, Carrie Ann. So look, folks, there's so many people out there, so many people, so many entrepreneurs doing so many unbelievable things right now. Like there's so many people that can run a business from home, okay? That's the good news and the bad news, okay? The cost to entry is zero. Okay, there is, there, there is no cost to enter the scene now. That's the good news and the bad news, you understand? What's the bad part of that? 
I mean, for literally for an idea, I could start a business today. The bad news is, so can everybody else, okay? And if you're not great, you will not be a business very long. Just so you know, two-thirds of all businesses in America, in the richest country on the planet, supposedly, I don't even know if that's true. That's what they say. Two-thirds of all businesses in America break even or lose money, okay? You always hear all these numbers. The average business only lasts five years. 50% of them are dead after a year. No, no, no. That's not the numbers. Two-thirds of all businesses in America break even or lose money. That's the point. It don't matter how long they last, okay? I know marriages that have been broken since they freaking did their vows. Broken just like bankrupt. And, and, and they say, we, we've been married 47 years. Dude, you, that ain't a marriage, bro. Look, look at, look at the, the definition of relationship. The state of being connected by blood or marriage, okay? A way in which two or more people or organizations regard and behave toward each other, okay? Is, what kind of relationship you got, man? Is it good? Is it average? Is it great? What is it? What are you doing to make it great? I say to you that if you can't make it great at home, you can't make it great at the office. And if you're not being great in the office, you're not going to be great at home. Okay? If you're not great at Starbucks with the people that you don't even know, how the hell are you going to be great at home? You can't be a punk eight or nine hours a day and go home and be a hero. Okay? It's just impossible. So I implore you, okay, define what is it to be great? Because last night, greatness got popular. Make America great again, baby. And a bunch of people showed up and voted for that. So it must be like, there must be something about it, man. Don't make this political. I'm just saying. People are like, yeah, I'm tired of the other thing. The other thing is what? Middle class, average, losing jobs, okay? Talk out of both sides of my mouth, you know? The dude last night, the dude said, hey, man, this won't be historic unless I deliver. He's the one that said that. It won't be historic. This will not be a historic election unless I deliver which is a really good point to me. It reminded me, do you need to deliver at work, bro? Okay, you need to deliver. I listened to Hillary this morning, okay? I gotta tell you, man, I learned a lot from her speech today. How to use humility, okay? How to, how to accept it, how to bring people together. You can learn from everybody, man. If you can't learn from everybody, you got no chance of being great ever in your lifetime. Number one, define it. Number two, commit time and resources. Number three, find out what's needed from the other side. Like Bobby, I want to talk to Bobby. And then deliver the damn goods. Who do y'all know that delivers the goods every day? Every day. Huh? Mm -hmm. Who do y'all know? I know I deliver. I don't go home at night and say I didn't deliver. Speaking of delivering, by the way, if you guys want to learn how to make uh, more money at your business, if you want to learn how to grow the revenue stream of your company, if you don't want to be one of those two-thirds that break even or lose money, get Card on You. I've got a special on it right now. Card on You, I'd be amiss not to advertise and promote on my own channel. I would be amiss. I would be a communist. I would be the devil. I would be average if I didn't tell you, dude, you ought to go borrow the money, beg, plead, Take a mortgage out on your home. You do whatever you got to do to get that program right there because that is the best sales training, revenue generating program, company building program that you will ever purchase in your life, okay? I guarantee it. I guarantee it. You understand what I'm saying? Okay? And by the way, when you do it today, lifetime membership, cardonuniversity.com forward slash special, I'm going to give you all these in hard formats and the eBooks, and I'm going to give you some of my damn cufflinks. I'm throwing in cufflinks because they said cufflinks wouldn't make a difference. I say, hey, cufflinks will make America great again. <laughs> 10X cufflinks. I don't know if you can show them. Okay, can you show them? All right, let's talk to Bobby. Bobby! Bobby's in the hey, house. Dad. Come on, Bobby. Come on, Bobby. How are you? Come on, Bobby. <laughs> Look at these. Hey, I just wanted to reach out. Um, I'm a part of Eddie Martin's Facebook Oh, Live man, group. yeah. Thank and you. Tell Eddie hello he, for me, all right? Heck yeah, we are a ton of obsessed fans. We just absolutely love what you're doing. Um, I mean, we're just killing it in our own group, just interacting with each other every day. I think that we've all kind of um, met each other after taking your amazing freaking obsessed, um, you know, Mastering Objections course okay. that you had. Yeah. And um, I think we just kind of all met and, you know, are just all killing it in our own businesses, relationships, um, and just being totally obsessed. And we just, we have just so much appreciation to you. Oh, uh, Bobby, I really appreciate you saying that. Hey, so Bobby, let me ask you. So, so, so when I talk about, 
I mean, just pick which one, okay? Pick which one that resonates with you. How would you define great or how would you define average? Uh, well, average, okay. You know, I used to be average, to be yeah. very honest. Back in the day before I knew what work you were doing, um, I was I was turned off because I wasn't ready for, for greatness. I was average. I was just stuck in my own ways. And then I was like, I listened to you. And I, and I was thinking, damn, this guy has, you know, something going. Uh, I was ready for greatness and ready to, to move on up and make stuff happen. So, um, See, this is the kind of people I want to be around, okay? This is the kind of people yeah. I want to be around. I need to be reminded in my relationship, in my business. To me, they're all the same thing. There's not, none of this is any different. I'm an organism, okay? The organism, Grant Cardone, with the trillions of cells. Thank you, Bobby. With the trillions of cells, he doesn't. The trillions of cells don't know where. Dude, am I at the office? Am I at the Starbucks? Am I at the supermarket? Okay, am I at the flea market? Am, am I in a Camry or am I in a Rolls? Am I at home or, or with the kids? Am I being a parent today or a boss today? The organism, the, the trillions of cells. I don't know how many there are. Eight, six, 60 trillion. Does somebody know? I need a number, Robert. Come on, man. Give me a number on how many tr trillions of cells I got. Dude, we, he, it don't know what car I'm in, right? Am I in Italy? Am I with a black person, a white person? Am I? 37.2 trillion 37. cells. 37.2 tr trillion cells. Those point two got to be important, by the way. They have to be. <laughs> That's 200 billion. Have to be. 37 point, 37 trillion, 200 billion cells. Dude, I don't know what I'm, just, they, I need to program them to be great. Okay, I need to read great books. I need to be around great people. I need to be around people that are saying, hey, let's go learn. Let's go study. Let's go expand. Let's go do something. I don't need to be at dinner with somebody that's like, man, that's a lot of money for that steak. That ain't a lot of money for the steak, dude. Say it right. You don't make enough money. Just say it. Say it like it is, John. Damn, that's a lot of money. No, no, say it, say it, John. Say it, say it. Say, I don't make enough money because I'm average. Say it. The restaurant's not charging too much. You don't make enough. Be great, man. Get around Bobby, like Bobby's saying. Hey, I used to be average, and I don't want to go back there. Hold me accountable. Define what greatness is. Commit to greatness. Find out what is needed by others around you. See, I know what my marketplace wants. I know what my customers want. I run this company. I'm the one that makes the decision. They want this. They want this program right here, dude. They want card on you, and I need to give them something a little extra. Something. Some people like to read. Some people like stuff in their library. I, I can tell. I go into your homes and I see libraries of stuff. I see people keep things. I know, I know women that have bought the cufflinks and don't wear them. Dude. They put them in their drawer to remind them. They put them on their desk. I'm like, why would I have cufflinks? So you can be reminded because that's what you want. So I got to find out what do you want if I'm in network marketing? What does my sister want and need? Okay, she doesn't want or need to be in network marketing. Maybe she doesn't even want the enterprise part of it. What does she want and need? Oh, she wants friends. Good, come to the meeting with me. I got a lot of friends over there. Maybe she wants to get laid. Good, I got a lot of friends over to network marketing. Okay, they, they, they will deliver the goodies. You understand? You gotta find out what people want and need and give it to them. What does America want? What does your public want? What does your city want? What does the politician want? What does the wealthiest person in your marketplace want and need? And then, baby, you better deliver the goods. When I moved to Miami, I reached out to a guy that was influential here. Okay, his name's Rick Case. I said, Rick, you involved in a charity? You involved in politics? You, what, how can I help you? Yeah, man, I got a charity, Boys and Girls Club. How can I help you? What do you want? What do you need? Tell me what you want and need. I need you. I'd love for you to blah, blah, boom. Then I got his business. It was that simple, man. You got to define greatness for yourself. And by the way, it all starts with you, okay? Am I having a relationship with me so I can have a relationship with Elena? Am I being honest with me so I can even be honest with her, okay? Do I know where I need to improve so I can improve with her? Am I willing to confront my own freaking, my garbage, clean that up, take it out, get rid of it so I can go say, hey, man, you know what? Let's make this great again. Let's make our relationship great again. James from Colorado, where well, you guys, I think y'all voted the wrong way last night, bro. You're on the wrong side of the coin, dog. Dude, I'm so sad that they that they that they, they passed marijuana in Florida. He's smoking weed. Right? Yo, what's up, Sticky? How you doing today, man? Man, I'm doing great. 
I'm doing great. That's my word of the day, man. Look, you guys on Facebook, you guys on Grant Cardone TV, if you're doing great today, post it right now. I'm great. Make a commitment, baby. What's up, brother? Not much. I'm fucking great today. You are great, dude. You are great, man. So I got a question for you. Bring it, great. <laughs> About how you balance your work life and your home at the same dude, time. Dude, look up the word great. It ain't got balance in it. Ain't no balance anywhere in the word great. Comes from the word gross. Gross means lots. I don't need great, dude. I need Air Force One. (laughs) All right. You know, Donald Trump just spent $100 million and won the biggest job in the world. Best $100 million he ever spent in his life. Okay. Do you know what it costs? You You know what it costs to operate his jet, the little Trump, Trump Airlines? $9,000 $9,000 an hour. $9,000 an hour. That's what it costs to run his plane. Okay, you know what it costs to run Air Force One? $190,000 an hour. <laughs> okay, go ahead, brother. So look, man, what you gonna do, bro? You, go, you worried about balance? Why you worried about balance, man? Why don't you go get some of those crystals, man? Hang one of those crystals. Go, go to the Whole Foods over there in Boulder, man, and say, hey, you got anything on balance? I get what you're saying. Get you a little wheatgrass. Get you a little wheatgrass. Put put some crystals around your neck, man. Maybe you'll balance out. All right. Or or you could do this. I got something else for you. You ready? Yeah. Commit to greatness, bro. Greatness takes care of balance. I've created it, and I'm already committed to you. Come on, man. Are you on card on you yet? No, I'm... I can't right now at the time. I'm broke as a joke. Then you ain't great. If you're broke, you ain't great. You will not see broke in the definition of great. It don't, it don't exist. If you're great, the marketplace will pay you. If you're not getting the pay, baby, it's because you're not great. You're missing something, man. 25 years old, I was broke. How could I be great? How can you run around and say, I'm great? Yeah. How can you run around and say, I'm great, I'm great, I'm boom, great, I'm great, dude. And you're broke. You're broke, man. You're broke, you're broke. Which means you're missing something because inherently, spiritually, we're all designed, built to be great. And I think that's why that message resonated with so many people. Make America great again, man. It's a great country. You look around, dude. It's a, it's a great country, man. It's a great country. Okay? Go, go, go visit another country and then come back here. Damn, it's great. Okay? but it could be greater, okay? It's not going to get greater because of public schools. It's going to get greater because you and me open up books. I'm going to learn, man. It's because me and you start making choices to be around great people, not average people. I want to help you, okay? I want to help you. Card on you right now. Because of the election, we're doing a super special, okay? Get a lifetime membership at cardonyouuniversity.com forward slash special. I'm going to include... Three, six, seven ebooks and the hardbound copies. I'm going to do those for you myself. It's not included in the offer now. It's a special for watching the show today live. And I'm going to send some of my 10x cufflinks. Don't worry about it, John. Don't worry about it. Beautiful. 24 karat gold plated on stainless steel. They bad to the bone. My name's Grant Cardone. You've been watching the GE show. Miss Elena will be back with us next week. And between now and then, me and her are going to be working on making our relationship greater than it already is. I hope you do the same. God bless. Be great. See you tomorrow on Young Hustlers and Friday at the Cardone Zone. Hey, if you like watching on YouTube, make sure you subscribe and like, and we love your comments. Also, remember, you can find Grant's podcast on Stitcher and iTunes. And if you never want to miss Grant Cardone, go to GrantCardoneTV.com, where all his shows are broadcast live. That's GrantCardoneTV.com.